Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. So uh, today I want to talk about the request control in Microsoft Teams. Because like uh, we are having trouble like when we host a Teams meeting with our customers and then the request control is dimmed and we are not able to provide the support by request control from the customer. Then we, we have to just uh, talk them through like where we want to click it's very uh, inconvenient. So uh, you could see like uh, this screen. Uh, it's like where I'm providing a support to a customer. I'm the organizer. So I organize this Teams meeting. I send a meeting request, the Teams meeting request to the customer. And the customer is sharing their screen. But you can see on my, um, but you can see on my Teams meeting. And uh, my request control is dimmed. Right? When that is. Uh, yeah. Request control is a uh, grayed out for me. Yeah. So that's a conversation, and that's a conversation between me and our customer. And because that uh, uh, is uh, dimmed, and I was trying to find out uh, what's the problem. So actually, Microsoft by default they um they just uh, turn off that uh, external user because. Uh, that customer is outside of our organization. By default, Microsoft just uh, turn it off. And uh, I have to go to our Teams admin portal, like admin.teams.microsoft.com, and go to meetings, go to Teams uh, meeting policies, and check the global setup. And uh, when I check our company setup, we do have a lot an external participant to uh, give our request control. But actually, because I'm the organizer of that meeting, even we have this turned on, it's like uh, if we are sharing screen and they can request control. And so it has to be both ways. It's not only like you have to turn this on, they have to turn this on as well. And another thing is like you have to make sure like uh, this is a per user setup. So this meeting policy is a per user setup. It's not, uh, you have to make sure you add a user to that policy. So there's a document here about this policy. Then you can uh, go to this link and uh, it's talking about the meeting policies for Teams. And uh, if you scroll down and look at the policy and there's a session for the, uh, it explained like uh, the meeting policies here, like one, uh, one person organized the meeting has this to you, but that's about the IP video. But for this, it's the same thing. So you can see a lot of participant to give our request control. So this will apply for both the internal and external user. So participant, no, this like participants, it can be internal, it can be external. And except for that, you also have to turn on, it's saying like uh, if this uh, is not enabled in your Teams admin portal, then you will see this give control is dimmed out and your request control will be dimmed out as well okay so and uh, this allow an external participant to give our request control is the key so if for some somebody outside of your organization then you have to make sure you you both have this allow an external participant to give our request control turned on has to be both turned on then you both can share screen and request control from each other Okay, and also this is one thing. Another thing is like after you add this policy, after you turn on turn on this in your policy, you have to make sure you have added a user to it. Okay, so the reason it didn't work for me, even like uh, we we have that turn on. When I check manage users, then I don't see any users has been added to that. So you have to add the users. So when I check my user. And I can see I'm under the restricted anonymous access. That's by default Microsoft put to put each user because this is a per user policy. You have to make sure after you configure that global policy, you add users to that policy by manage the user. So you have to put this user in and say apply. So I don't want to mess up our uh, environment because like uh, I'm not a global admin, but I just uh, have the permission to. I can log into this portal, but I don't want to change anything. Okay, so that's what uh, I want to uh, 
uh, emphasize before uh, you, are, you both are able to request control, then you have to make sure you have a policy listed here. Then you have that allow external user to request and give control turned down. And then you have to make sure you go to manage users to add those users who need this request, who need to have this request control and the uh, give control to the user group. Then you can go to our users. Then when you filter your user, then you should be able to see. Uh, so if I filter my user, then I can uh, match all these conditions. Then I can say if I uh, go to the meeting policy and uh, I can equals to like uh, I can actually have a request control policy this there. Then I can see the controls I have there because, because right now, uh, restricted uh, anonymous access, I'm in this group, then if I say this and say apply, I will see myself under this list. But I apply that filter. Okay, so I'm listed there. So I'm not listed policies assigned. I'm my users global, but meeting my messaging. But you see, when my, I highlight my uh, policies, you see the meeting policy. The meeting policy, we configured the allow external user to have request control uh, in the global organization-wide default policy. But because each of our user is only get assigned the meeting policy of restrict anonymous access. That's why I don't have that. If I check, so let's check somebody else. Yes. So. Every one of our users for the meeting policy is assigned a restricted anonymous uh, access policy. So that's why it didn't work for us. So you have to make sure. So if I go to this uh, restricted anonymous access policy and it does not have that turned on. So you can see allow an external participant to give our request control is turned off. That's why it's not working. Okay, so you have to make sure the policy you got, the meeting policy you got assigned to have that, to have this turn down. Then you have, when you send a meeting request to somebody else, make sure on their organization, for their tenant, Teams tenant, they, they need to have the meeting policy assigned to them, to assign to that user, have this turned down, has allowed an external participant to give our request control turned down as well. Then you both can request and give control during the screen sharing session in your Teams meeting. Okay, so I think that's everything I want to share uh, in this video. And uh, this is very, I think, uh, without, this, without this setup, it's very inconvenient that usually we have to send a go-to meeting invitation to our customer to provide support. But if this has been assigned the right meeting policy, to us, then they will be able to share screens and take the control in our Teams meeting. That will be more convenient for a company who provides support to the customers. But this has to be turned on on both sides, not only on one side. If it's on one side, only one side can share a request control, the other side cannot, okay? Okay, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope to see you guys again next time.